Are you studying for long hours yet you're not seeing the results you deserve? This is simply because you're putting the effort in the wrong place. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to the one technique that worked for me during my medical training. My name is Jay Francis and I was once like you, a medical student who struggled to study right. I have reviewed many YouTube videos and many important articles who talked about study techniques and improving the performance. And I tried most of them. And I have found this one study technique really worked for me. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a bonus trick how to use this technique specifically for your medical training. We are talking here about the Feynman technique. It's named after the greatest physicist, Richard Feynman. Many articles have already proven how efficient this technique is in improving your understanding and helping you achieve a better performance and better grades. Step number one. After deciding on the topic you want to study, you write everything you know about it, everything you can remember. What you are doing here is you are trying to gather all your thoughts about a certain subject and to see if you have enough information to make something out of it. Step number two, you try to explain this topic to someone who doesn't know anything about medicine. For example, you try to explain it to a child. You simplify it. Here, you are trying to actively rephrase and restructure your ideas. And this will create a better understanding unraveling the true level of it. Step number three, uncover your knowledge gaps. Now it's time to go back to your textbooks and your notes and to check what you have missed, what ideas were not very clear. This step is essential to make. It helps you uncover the gaps and the parts where you don't really master, so you know where are your shortcomings, so you can work on them. Step number four, reorganize your thoughts. Now that you have filled the gaps in your knowledge, it's time to restructure and reorganize all your ideas about this topic in a very simple fashion. You can recite it to someone else, to your friend, or even to yourself. I used to do it sometimes in the mirror. So why this technique is very effective, specifically for medical students? I was thinking, because in medical school, we have a lot of knowledge to acquire in a very short time. So we tend to study in a rush and skip over some important details. This will create something dangerous, which is the illusion of mastery. We think that we know the subject well, we will read it passively and move forward. But using the Feynman technique, it forces you to slow down, to think deeply about the subject, to have a good grasp of it, to master every corner of it. You might think that this technique might be a bit time consuming at first, but the trick is, if you study well your subject from the first time, if you know it very well, your revision session will be much quicker, it will pass seamlessly. From a personal experience, I can tell you that the topics that I have studied using this technique are the ones that I still remember even now after 4 years and I'm very confident about. But be careful, I use this technique only to study new content. Although it can be very useful to do revision using the Feynman technique, but then it will be a bit time consuming. I'm gonna be posting other videos about how to do your review sessions. Now for the bonus trick on how to use this technique in medical school to save you some time, it's to study with a partner or a friend. Each one of you will be studying a different topic, then you can teach it to each other. Like this, you will be more motivated to study and you will be saving some time. Another bonus trick specifically for medical students here, since we are usually short on time, is to know on what to focus. You must cover first your testable material. And to uncover these material, what I used to do, I used to look at practice exams and question banks. And usually the, the aspect of the topic that really repeats itself many times is the most important thing to study here. In this way, I get an idea what is really the high yield points. So I hope this video will help you in your studies. I will be reviewing other study techniques, but I wanted to dedicate this video only for the routine that really worked for me. If you like it, hit the like button and see you next time.